Hey, what's up YouTube? Your boy Chris. I'm out in the Caliente Garage. In this video, I will be installing this Honda OEM chrome trunk rack for my 2021 Honda Goldwing DCT. The Honda chrome trunk rack does not come with a brake light. You have to purchase it separately. So I decided to go with the Pathfinder LED trunk light. It serves as a running light, a brake light, and it has sequential turn signals. The Honda line LED trunk light does not. It only has brake lights. So I decided to go with the Pathfinder trunk lights. The Honda line OEM trunk rack does come with the provided hardware kit. It also comes with step-by-step -step installation instructions on how to install the chrome trunk rack. So stay tuned to this video as I install it in my 2021 Honda Goldwing. Let's get started. I am not a representative of Honda. Therefore, installing accessories on your motorcycle should be done at your own risk. You should always follow the manufacturer's recommended instructions as this video may improvise or deviate. This video is not being sponsored by Honda nor is it being sponsored by Pathfinder. All of the accessories that I install on my Honda Goldwings are 100% paid for out of my pocket. Therefore, I can always give you my honest opinions and reviews. If you are new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button. If you would like to support the YouTube channel, be sure to click that thanks button. I laid out all of the materials onto a soft movers blanket to prevent any nicks or scratches to the chrome trunk rack. I will include a link within the description of this video or where you can pick up all of the materials that I will be installing on my Honda Goldwing. The first step of my installation was removing the panels off of the Honda Goldwing. If you didn't see the video and need to know how to take off the panels, check out the link in the top corner and it'll walk you through step by step on how to remove the panels from the Honda Goldwing. I also had to remove the seat. Check out the video link of my seat removal on the Honda Goldwing as well. Throughout the video, I will be placing a screenshot of the provided Honda instructions. Feel free to pause the video or play it back as many times as necessary to complete the installation. In this portion of the video, I remove the passenger grab rails on the right and left side. I removed Phillips screws from the trunk of the Honda Goldwing and started placing them inside of a six cup muffin pan. A magnetic bowl works well, but I decided to use a muffin pan to keep up with the assortment of screws. To remove the trunk lid from the Honda Goldwing, I started removing an assortment of Phillips screws and placing them inside of the muffin pan. The screws underneath the trunk lid are all the same size and the same color. You have three screws at the hinges on the left side and also you have three screws on the hinges at the right side. Once removing all of the screws inside of the trunk lid, I was then able to prepare to separate the trunk lid from the Honda Goldwing. In this portion of the video, I was able to remove the passenger backrest. Underneath the passenger backrest is a harness that must be disconnected before you can remove the passenger backrest. If we look at 
page three, line 10, we have to remove the rear trunk lid as shown. In order to remove the trunk lid, you have three pan hex bolts on the right and left side that must be removed before lifting up the rear trunk lid. That's a total of six pan head screws, three on the right side and three on the left side. All of the screws have been removed and now the trunk lid can be lifted off of the Honda Goldwing. It's time to remove the rear side trunk panel. In order to remove the trunk panel within the trunk we have two screws and two clips on each side. Those clips and screws must be removed in order to remove the side panel. Be extra careful when removing the side panels from the trunk of the Honda Goldwing. Be very careful not to break the plastic bosses. And now it's time to remove the right and the left hinge on the Honda Goldwing. After removing the right and left hinge, I will replace the damper on the Honda Goldwing with the damper that came inside of the provided kit. In order to gain access to the trunk hinge, the rear speaker grills must be removed. Keep in mind that the process has to be repeated on the opposite side of the Honda Goldwing. The screws in the trunk along with the push pins has to be removed before being able to pry loose the side panel of the Honda Goldwing. Once the side panel is removed and now the rear speaker grill can be removed. Before I get into the changing of the damper on the trunk hinge, I want to give you my personal opinion about it. I believe that it is not necessary to change out the damper even though it came inside of the provided kit. When I looked at both dampers, they did not have the lift strength written on the cylinders. I could not tell them apart. They both appear identical. That damper is for carrying a heavier load on top of your trunk rack to sturdy up the hinges. So if you're not going to be carrying a heavy load on your trunk rack, in my personal opinion, it is not necessary to change out the dampers. Now in my installation, I went through with the damper changing process. I'm not going to get into the step by step, but in my personal opinion, if you're not carrying a heavy loaded bag on top of your trunk rack, then changing out the dampers is not necessary. The dampers is only used to assist lifting the trunk lid when carrying a heavy bag. Therefore, I will show you that I changed out the dampers, but in my personal opinion, it was not even necessary. Now that I have changed out the damper struts on the trunk and reinstalled the trunk panels, now we can get into the disassembling of the trunk lid. So let's get the striker rods taken out of the trunk liner. We have four Phillips screws. Now also looking at the illustration, it shows you the bend of the striker rods. So pay close attention to how the striker rods. So the striker rods are actually bending downward like so.
So now looking at the trunk lid, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven Phillip head screws. We'll get those removed. I just want to make sure they're the same size. They are the exact same size. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And seven. I'm just going to peel back this liner. Okay, it's going to come right out like so. Now that I have taken the trunk lid apart, now I can remove the right and left plastic rack covers. I'm going to remove the left side. These are small Phillips screws. And the thing about the covers, it have them marked right and left. So upside down, it shows it R on the right, left on the other side. If I flip it over, left would be on top and right would be on top. So this is my right side. Just gonna pick those up and slide them out like so. We're going to open up the package that came with the trunk rack. I'm just going to set this stuff out. Some directions, some metal brackets, and some hardware. 